Joey, I'll ask, just start out, you guys don't lose very often, and it hadn't happened in 14 months, just what was the uh, mood when you guys got back in here on Sunday, and <coughs> what's maybe the, driving you guys forward this week? Uh, well, right after the game, watching that kick go in, I was telling everyone how it just didn't even feel real, like I was in a dream, and I was waiting for myself to wake up, and it took me about 20, 30 minutes for it to set in in the locker room, and then I kind of broke down. But um, Sunday definitely wasn't fun coming in here, not being able to laugh and talk about our victory and get victory meal. But um, we got to move on, and it's important for me as a leader to um, bring guys with me and let them know that there's more to accomplish this season. And I, I really believe that everything happens for a reason because I've been through a lot this year and um, don't know what good is going to come from it, but I'm, con I'm convinced that eventually we're going to see something good come from this. Hey, Joey, you're uh, very close from what we understand with Zeke. Um, and he made some comments after the game. It might have been a tough weekend for him, yeah. but maybe brought some negative attention to the program. I mean, what, <clears throat> about maybe what it was like being around him this weekend, and, and can you understand what he said? Are you upset with the um, he said it? I saw what he said. I didn't look into it too much, but um, I think he said what a lot of people were scared to say, and he he said what was on his heart, and it may have been wrong but in the moment, but it's what he felt like he needed to say. He's contributed so much to this program. He gives everything he has every day, so I think when he feels he's not being put in the position after everything he does for this program. He he just said how he felt. Um, not saying I feel the same way or we feel the same way. It's just said and done and we haven't really talked about it at all. Can you said you talk about the, the last couple of weeks? Uh, what is causing some of these offside issues? Um, obviously, Going against a center like we did this week, really, uh, I mean, a veteran who knows what he's doing, knows how to make people jump, and knows that I'm every snap thinking to get off the ball as fast as I can to get after the quarterback, uh, they're going to use that against me. And um, it was a really big mistake, and I'm still not completely over it. And it's, it's definitely been a rough sleepless couple of nights partly because of that and um, I just want to do everything I possibly can to help us win and when I do something like that to negatively affect our team it hurts a lot um, but working to prevent that I guess I just need to be more disciplined because I'm just trying to get off and make a play that's my mindset every single snap, so I just need to work on being should, more disciplined. What should be your focus there when you're down the line? Just wait wait to see the ball in the corner of your eye move? I mean, yeah, I mean, you. he was doing, he would put, point the ball up and then put it down right before he snaps. And I'm trained every single day of my life to move when the ball moves. Mm -hmm. So I see the tiniest little bit of movement and I'm getting off the ball but I just got to be more disciplined and not let that happen again. You said you've been through a lot this season. What have you been through, Joey? Um, starting off with missing that first game and just personal battles that I go through that I'm not really going to get into here. But okay. it's football is a stressful, stressful, stressful thing. It's a great thing and it brings a lot of people close together and makes a lot of great memories, but it's a very stressful thing, especially when you play it at such a high level at a place like this where eyes are just on you 24-7. So, I mean, it just wears you down and um, this is another bump in the road, but we've gotten over, we've gotten over to things like this before and we're going to do it again. So it's been, it's been uh, obviously a very difficult loss. I mean, you've got your big rival this week. Is it, is it easier because it is the big rival to get over something, or does it add to the challenge? Um, 
there's one way or there's two ways we could take this loss. We could feel sorry for ourselves and not want to come back and work and lose the rest of the games this season, which obviously none of us want to do. Um, and there's we could come back and use it as motivation like we did last year and continue to get better because crazier things have happened. We have no idea what could happen. We still can get a chance to play in the Big Ten Championship, and that's a big goal of ours every year. Um, so like I said before, as a leader, I need to make sure that I don't dwell on this loss too long and make sure when we come back to practice tomorrow it's all positive and um, we come to work and get ready for, for our big rivalry this game. This game is always huge because of who you play. Yeah. Given that you lost a team with such high expectations, if you were to lose your last two, two games that, that everyone circles, is there any way to salvage the season or is this a season of failure? If we lose our last two games, um, yeah, of course that would be a failure. <laughs> um, we come to Ohio State and we don't lose here. Um, we come out every week to win every single game. That's our mindset. It's always what it's been like to play at Ohio State. And uh, just because we lost this week, I don't think it makes it any bigger than usual because Every week here is a big week. No matter who we're playing, it could be first, last, whatever game of the season, whether we lost, won a big game. Every game matters, and uh, it's a, tr a tradition of excellence here, and we we can't just let that slip away. What do you, Joey, what do you see out of uh, Michigan, Joey? I know you're probably just getting started. A <coughs> team that was struggling the last year, Coach Harbaugh yeah. comes in and they're, they're flipping it. They're right there in the thick of this thing. What, yeah, what I mean, jumps out about it? It's like Coach Meyer coming in. Um, there's talent there. They take people. They take recruits from us. They take recruits from Ohio. They've got great talent there. It was just something wasn't right there. And Coach Harbaugh has came in and done an incredible job turning it around and having a great season so far. And we're, we're well aware that this is definitely the best uh, team. <laughs> <laughs> Best team we played in the last three years, uh, Team of North. <laughs> Joey, what, how does it affect then how you're sitting here looking at, at Michigan today when you do know it's the best Michigan team that you guys have faced here? Do, do, do you think uh, about it any differently? <clears throat> I mean, this rivalry is so huge, and it's been huge the last two years. But to know that we're playing such a good team and it's back to how it used to be, uh, two of the top teams in college football going at it, I think it it makes it more exciting, I think. But like I said, every game's a big game, so um, it doesn't change it too much. What is the name Harbaugh? What's Jim Harbaugh? What, in your mind, what does that mean about the football team you're facing? Is it more gritty, <coughs> more hard-nosed? Obviously, he likes to line up in two yeah. tight end sets and come right at you. Uh, what 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 does that mean to you? Um, I think it's like bringing in someone like Coach Meyer into a program, um, bringing someone in that knows how to win, knows how to play tough. Uh, he's done a great job getting his guys ready to play, and they're 100% going to be ready when we play him this Saturday. So going back to Saturday's game, I was wondering, uh, the one drive where they were really able to get the ball through the air was that second quarter scoring drive, and it ended with that uh, play to the fullback. It was a lot like uh, the, the, the touchdown Virginia Tech scored, uh, also a fullback play. You guys are obviously a terrific defense. Is there something about that play that we're bringing the fullback out that kind of messes with what you're trying to do? <coughs> um, I honestly didn't know what score they play, or what play they scored on. Um, haven't watched the film. Not going to watch the film. Just going to try to move on to next week and worry about our opponent. But um, I know I could have gotten to the quarterback there, and I was about a step late. So maybe if I could have gotten there and made a difference. So I'm going to worry about <coughs> moving forward and what we could do getting better as a defense. So ever since Harbaugh was hired, there's been such speculation about this game, the start of maybe a new 10-year war or whatever it might end up being. Do you guys think it's special that this is the first 
of the Harbaugh versus Meyer matchups? Yeah, uh, it's going to be a huge game, but like I said before, every game's a huge game when you play at Ohio State, so um, I can't really see much motivating us more than playing the team up north. Like every year, we're going to be motivated for every game. Uh, we were motivated last week, just some, something something was wrong and we're gonna we gotta make sure we can fix that this week.